Oh, now see this is what they happen inside the Niger Republic when military don't collect uh, power from civilian government. Now this kind thing, now they say America. America now don't come out now they shout, hey, 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 come out. Nigeria, we are behind you, we are behind you. Invade the Niger Republic after the seven days of debate when I give them. If they don't agree, answer to now. We invade them, we will invade the Niger Republic together with Tona. They, they, they don't they drop support now, they give Africa. Maybe Africa go destroy their motherland because this is what happened now. Nobody in the Niger Republic they involved. They won't destroy West Africa and Africa as a whole. But I don't forget what happened for Libya, Muammar Gaddafi. Eh? As they buy by Gaddafi now, Libya don't good. He never good. Now, so they won't take. See, America can never come to your rescue if they don't have any vested interest. They get vested interest in, uh, in uh, the Niger Republic together with France. Now, then they collect their mineral resources, uranium, uranium. Now, then they suck up, they go. They know how much, they know what they are getting there. Now, why do they support ECOWAS and Nigeria? Maybe they go bombard, bombard the Niger Republic. When their people don't know, their people don't come and tell anybody, say, hey, they need help. Civilians, when they don't know, they need help. They are not saying that the military is manhandling them. They just say, hey, we want to take our destiny by our hand, hey, by, by ourselves, in our hands. Now, why they collect military governments? Say, look, enough is enough for all these democratically elected presidents. When they do anything, when they form alliance with foreign bodies to deal with their own people. Now, what's it cause this thing, though? American around the drum. They cannot talk to Batabe. Mona, see where America they drum support. Say, go. Go and finish them. We are behind you. Watch this video. Strongly support the very strong leadership of ECOWAS uh, on Niger. Um, I don't want to get ahead of where things are, uh, but what ECOWAS has done in terms of stating very clearly that. Uh, there's an expectation for a return to the constitutional order and a continuation of the democratic process um, and putting pressure on those responsible for interrupting the democratic uh, order and constitutional order uh, in Niger. Uh, we stand very much behind that. We will work closely with ECOWAS, with other uh, concerned countries. Um, I don't want to uh, get ahead of, of where things are right now, uh, but we believe that um, the um, work that ECOWAS is doing uh, and the statements it's made uh, are important, strong, and have our support. On Adosia, when I see America, they don't support the Nigeria, ECOWAS, go, go, we are solidly behind you. Make I inform on that again, say, Niger Republic is not standing alone. Five countries don't join them, say, we are waiting for ECOWAS. May they come. We are waiting for Nigeria. May they come. And this country, where they back them. Now, African countries, though. So now, Africa now fighting Africa. Burkina Faso, Mali, Oona de Yemi, what do they call them? Uh, uh, Guinea. Which other country? Uh, Algeria. Which one remain? Oh, I remember. Now them now don't come together. Senegal. Uh -huh. They don't come together now. Say Niger, we are behind you. Make Nigeria shit. Make ECOWAS. Make them do anyhow. We go face them. Africa now is fighting Africa. Now why America did there? They draw support for honor. They say, eh, we are here. We are here. We will join air forces with you. Uh, we will bombard everyone. I beg. Make you help me watch this video. So when I go understand, say, this country is why I call now. They, they back the Niger Republic. They wait. Make the work happen. Make the Casablanca. Eh, listen, Casablanca everywhere. Help me watch this video. Could we see a full-on war blowing up in Niger as well as uh, the Sahel region? I think the West is undermining the continent. And I think countries as Nigeria, who are pushing for invasion, are undermining the frustration of people on the continent in relation to poverty and all the struggles that they are experiencing, including the plundering of the resources of Africa. If they think it's going to be Libya, I think this time around they must think again. And if they think it's going to be Gambia, they must think again. Because you have other countries, neighboring countries, who are part of the same region. I'm talking about Mali. Mm. I'm talking about Guinea, Burkina Faso, Algeria issued a similar statement. And we are told Senegal stands in support of uh, a move not to invade uh, Niger, but rather focus on the talks. And therefore, I think Nigeria at the moment, at its weakest moments in terms of the 
economic challenges in that country, including the leadership of the incumbent. As you know, that has been challenged in the courts in Nigeria based on the outcome of the elections uh, uh, recently. I think we are likely to see a proxy war in West Africa, something that is not good for the continent. And I think uh, the African Union is found wanting. It is very weak at the moment. At the helm, you have Comoros, a small country, and therefore the advice that's given to the region and the African Union, I don't think that uh, those advice are going to assist the continent. What about As we speak now, on a now, seven days or two minutes, nine, uh, uh, Nigeria, uh, Nigerian government will be the chair to ECOWAS, Tinubu. Nine, he give the Niger Republic. Say, military, restore democratically elected president. Bazoo. Else, we will invade. If that's not this Sunday, when they come tomorrow, nine be that seven days, nine, you go elapse. As we speak now, Nigerian military, some of them, they don't move them now. Position them for border. To strike. <laughs> To strike, they want. They don't want Niger. Say, Mba. go back to democracy. Uh, democratic uh, democracy. Niger say no. Why? Because France, US, they are the international interference in their country. Say, even with these militants, what they happen inside their country? Say, if they tell their own government, say, we want to go after these people. Government will say, eh, may they wait, may they collect permission from France before they can go after this terrorist group, ISIS, Boko Haram, and the rest of them. Who does that? You go collect permission from a hey, foreign body before you can solve your own problem. They say no. Now why they say don't come on board now? Because if I say this, they are them by all. Eh? Now I can collect or they just they punch them anyhow. And they go keep this guy. Keep and keep and keep and see they don't use and finish. If he did there 40 years, like what is happening in Cameroon. They say they don't want them. But this, this ECOWAS and Nigeria, they don't move their, their troops. They don't remove their troops now. They position for border to start. <laughs> Is that right? Make gonna help me watch this video where they explain and say Nigeria don't move their troops now. They put for a uh, 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 border to strike. I'm gonna watch this video. An ultimatum has issued against the coup leaders in Niger by ECOWAS, and thousands of Nigerians uh, took to the Nigerians rather took to the streets yesterday uh, on Independence Day as a sign of support for the military. On the other hand, Nigerian troops are reported to be moving to the Niger border where they will wait for the ECOWAS directive. Many have criticized ECOWAS for threatening to invade Niger. We are now joined by SABC News International News Editor, uh, Sophie Mukwena, to speak more about this and also this looming deadline. Good morning. Thank you so much for making time for us. There was a delegation that was sent to Niger, including the president of Nigeria himself. Do we know what the outcomes of that meeting was? Well, clearly the leaders of the coup are not uh, moving. They are maintaining that they are to continue. They are saying that uh, they are tired of uh, the government of uh, the president who is currently at the uh, presidential palace because uh, most of the time when they are fighting the insurgents in that region, you know that Niger is a base for France and the United States of America to fight terror and the insurgents. They get told that uh, they must wait uh, for the directive from France and therefore they feel that uh, they have been uh, controlled by France, including the mineral resources in that country, particularly the uranium, and therefore they are saying they are not going to change and uh, they are going to continue with the changes. Niger Republic is not crying for help. They are happy. They have pursued France. U.S. come out for their country, say they will not want. These people are exploiting us, taking their uranium, that is their mineral resource, you understand? Taking over every, in fact, their own military base, said U.S. and um, uh, France military base, they can't carry their military base, come put for Niger Republic, who does that? You leave your country, carry your military base, come they put for another person country. You hope they keep quiet. Citizens are not crying for help. I don't know if you are with Jagaban, I don't know who you are impressed. Jagaban, I don't know who you are impressed. You, are impressed. you, you only call the former Ecomas, Ecomas chairman. Leave ECOWAS and uh, leave Niger Republic alone. They are not asking for help. They are not asking for help because at the end of the day, we go key motherland. West Africa will be gone. 
They go America and you, uh, 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 France. They will help us destroy our motherland. You understand? And then they will go back to base. Now, 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 now we will go prove to them, say, eh, we'll be actual zombie. What do they call us? Because they say we'll be animals. We know the reason. Now, now we will prove to the Western world, say, eh, we'll be zombie. We'll be animals. Why not call these people to negotiation table? And if, why are you even calling them to negotiation table? Is Nigeria Republic not a sovereign state? They have decided for themselves. Let it be. Unless there is something people are not telling us. Let it be. They don't decide for themselves. They say they don't want democratic, I mean, democracy. You know they favor them. Our citizens say yes. And they have gone to the line of a, 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 a military government. Leave it for them. Now, now, now you did the govern. Is it your country? When I won't go prove myself. We won't go save us on president because now on a one off now. But person when they hear this now, now what they say hey, they are fighting in the interest of Nigeria. They are fighting for their own interests. They are protecting their own individual interests. All these presidents, they protect their interests. Maybe they, they, all of them get vested interest in, in each other's country. That is the only thing they are, they are interested in. Not about fostering unity and peace or anything in the ECOWAS. Not lie. Not their own personal interest. Tinobu, leave who know they find you. No carry Nigeria drag into this thing. If you want drag, go call Asari Dokubo. Call Asari Dokubo. Push him. Make it go to the battlefield. Him don't they show himself all this way. Push him. Give him gun. Okay, get gun ready. Uh, give him more gun. Give him ammunition. Me go fight on behalf of Nigeria. No carry our young military people. We're supposed to enjoy their life with their wives. Now, they, maybe some of them, their wives just put to bed, or their wives are pregnant, or they just got married. When I come back, then I go kill the Indonesian Republic for nothing. This is not why you are in government. Use your head. Fellow Nigerians, I go see Ona later.